Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Today we get to try the early access version of Timberborn. I've been waiting a long, long, long time. I uh, just got the key like an hour ago. <laughs> so downloaded it, and here we go. Let's just jump right on in. As a uh, greeting settler, you're now playing the Timberborn early access. The path ahead is exciting, but bear in mind that the game is a work in progress. Uh, we keep adding new content, and many existing parts of the game require further work. Bugs and crashes will happen. Share your feedback using the Go to Feedback Byte button or on the official Discord server. If you previously played the Timberborn Alpha, Beta, or Demo, the game has since been heavily optimized and contains new content, including new buildings, the second playable faction, and more. Be prepared that some mechanics have been redesigned and work differently. Good luck, and remember to stay hydrated. Very cool. We're going to hit start. Uh, let's jump in. Just adjust my local volume here uh, with, I guess, a new game. Let me just check settings real quick. Graphics. Sometimes I look for like a colorblind mode because I have a bit of colorblindness. Show the FPS counter. Don't care. Table tutorial. No. Invert zoom. We'll see if I need to change any of that. Looks good as is. Music volume, I might take down a little bit. Environment volume. All right, let's go with that. Looks like it just saves the settings as soon as you make them. I don't see like a save button. Get out of settings. Let's jump in a new game. <clears throat> Choose your faction. We'll start with the, I guess, the default here. Folk tales. Easy going but hard working. Folk tales are expert farmers. They respect nature, and it rewards them with plentiful bounties. Their motto, comfort, food, and sturdy wood. All right, let's see what these guys do. Iron teeth, defectors of the traditional timber ways. They mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress through ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for the environment. Their motto, work hard, work hard. To unlock, reach the average well-being of eight while playing folktales. Okay, so we got to do folktales first anyway. We'll get to Iron Teeth maybe later. Sounds kind of cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's jump in. All right. Uh, map. 256 by 256. Usually I max out the maps to the maximum size. I don't know why I do that. But uh, actually that is kind of the biggest one, isn't it? 256 by 256. We'll go with the recommended map. Yeah, let's try it. Let's go with recommended and stack the odds in our favor that everything's going to run smooth. Normal is fine. We'll stick with that. Boom. And I guess these maps are kind of um, predefined. I don't see like a random map seed or anything. Because if a building is marked as solid, such as a lodge or warehouse, you can build other structures on its roof. Well, I've been waiting to play this for a really long time. I've got a series on the channel from January. And it's suddenly getting a whole bunch of views now that the early access versions come out. So I'm glad I've got a key and I can come up with some, uh, get some updated content on the channel. Super excited about this game. It's a lot of fun. All right. I'm going to probably use the pause pretty heavily as we get up to speed because in this game, there are droughts. And when they come, you want to be prepared for them. So we're going to kind of, Go at it a little easy here, getting in, uh, and just take a look at what's new. All right. I'm looking at the bottom right. It says, what every new settlement needs are logs. Build a lumberjack flags and mark some trees in its range for cutting. All buildings used by beavers must be connected to a district center with a path. So connect the two as well. All right. I wasn't aware of that. That's a new requirement from last time I played. And then we've got a few objectives here. Build a lumberjack flag, build a path, and mark trees for cutting. Should be fairly easy. Starting map looks very familiar. We've got the trees here. We're going to cut these down and then probably replant and create like a tree farm over here. But let's just do what they're asking us. Build a lumberjack flag. Let's see if we can remember how to do that. Bottom of the screen is our hot bar with most of the building stuff. All of these icons have been updated. Since I last played, looks cool. Here's the cut trees. Let's go ahead and mark trees for cutting. That's one of our objectives. It looks like you got to stay on the same level as the trees to mark them. 
Let's just mark all these. I don't see a reason not to. Get rid of all of the trees. We're going to plant new ones. So that one's done. That objective's done. And then, okay, use this tool to unmark areas. Okay, so I'm just going to hit escape to get out of that toolbar. Escape again. And we're looking for the lumberjack flag. That, I guess, just gets me my mouse pointer back. Cut the trees, plant crops, plant trees and bushes. Mouse buildings, assign priorities, paths and structures. We're going to do that in a second. Landscaping. Landscaping, not yet. Storage, labor. Builder's hut, distribution post, drop-off point, hauling post. None of those. Housing, water, food, wood. Lumberjack flag. This is what we're looking for. We're going to plunk this thing. We can see kind of the range of effect as I move this around the map. And because there's no stairs, oh, there are stairs, but I guess they can't get up to this area. I'm just looking at the range of effect as we hit different plateaus. Anyway, we want it down here. Ooh, it would be nice if we could get them both, right? This set of trees as well. So maybe we put it out strategically. I know we're going to want to build stuff near the water, so maybe we move this up. And how about right there? That way, all of these trees are in range. In fact, why don't we mark these while we're thinking about it? Uh, mark trees for cutting. Boom. Let's get rid of all those. I'm not going to worry about the growth rate of the trees. We're trying to pick ones that are fully grown. I don't know if the beavers will only grab the fully grown ones and they'll wait for these little guys, this little. Uh, Find seedling here to grow before they cut it. I think they do, but I'm not positive. Okay, last thing we need to do while we are path. Oh, they want us to build two lumberjack flags. Anyway, let's get our path going. And we need to let's see, path. Buildings must be connected by paths. District center, which I believe that's this guy. Click on it and see. This is district center. Establishes a district. With its own population resources and an isolated path network, employs builders. All right. Wooden stairs, platforms. We'll get to all that later. Suspension bridge, pretty cool. That's new, or seems new to me. Just grab the boring path here. And click and drag. That, and then unpause. Boom, and let our builders get to building. Right click a couple times to get out of those build menus. Oh, we need one more lumberjack flag. I guess we should put it down here by these other trees, or we could be bold and go over here. Seems like we should stay focused on the local area initially. Let's put down the second one. And I know we need two just from the bottom right here. It's showing they want us to do two. So where was that again? That was wood, I believe. Lumberjack flag, and we'll pop this guy, I guess, near the work area. And we'll do some more pathing as well. I think we need the paths in order for them to get here. If not mistaken. I could be wrong. I'm not sure if that was the way it was before or not. I kind of think it might have been. Now that I think about it. All right, these guys are going, working away. Uh, we'll get the path. They'll probably tell us to do a stockpile next. That's my guess. We'll see. Once this flag gets built, the tutorial probably will move on. Beavers have newer models from uh, when I first played, I think. Look pretty good. I'm zoomed in max here. I don't know if these guys have a place to put the logs. All right, let's continue on the tutorial, bottom right. Hey, we need to keep our beavers alive. Build a water pump on a riverbank to secure a steady supply of water. You should also place a gatherer flag. Gather the berries from the nearby bushes. Okay, water pump. And we've got some water flowing here. It's actually a little hard for me to detect with my, uh, maybe with my color blindness. But it's actually a little hard for me to see that water in there. All right. Let's build our water pump. I'm trying to remember how we do that. Let's, uh... Go to water. 
water dump. We don't want that. We want water pump. Pumps and filters waters for water for beavers to drink. Unique to this faction. A maximum depth of two. Guess we'll start. I'm gonna kind of go with what I did last time. I think I put one over here somewhere, and then we had uh, some water storage nearby. Let's do it. Boom, I think that's oriented correctly, and I probably need to path to that as well. Let's do that. Let's go, let's path on the inside here. All right, what else do we need? We need a gatherer flag for these berries. Got a bunch of them over here. Let's get that going. Where would that be? Probably food. Gatherer flag. Can we collect all this? I guess we want this somewhat close. We're going to need to build lodges and everything, too. We got lots to do here. Okay, R to rotate. How about we do that? Let's get a path going to that structure. Seems like they build the paths pretty quick. Or they're instant. I can't tell. I think last time they had to build them, but it looks like they're instant, doesn't it? I don't see beavers working on the paths. All right. We've got beavers logging. Let's pause for a second and just check out what else we've got going on on the interface here. We'll wait for these buildings to get built, but uh, let's see up here. I'm looking at the top left. Let's see what we got. This is our well beings at three. This looks like science. Zero. We don't have any research stations or anything. Materials, nothing. That must be for like our storehouse once we get that going. Food is at 123. Does this guy have some storage or something? I'm not sure where that food is. All these builders. Starting goods, berries, 123. All right, maybe this starting goods is just sitting in our district center. What else we got up here on the top left? We got logs and water. We're hopefully we'll accumulate some water. In terms of our population, we've got four children, seven adults. Not bad. No one's got a home. I'm sure that's coming soon. Oh, what is this here? Employment, the district center. Okay, we've got... Two beavers working at the district center, and it looks like they can take two more for a total of four workers. We've got two lumberjack flags. Is it only one beaver per lumberjack flag? Yeah, wow. How does that work? Okay, employees in lumberjack that cuts trees, they're lumberjacks, and that's the way. They sleep all night and they work all day. Yep, yep. Transport goods between the warehouse went idle. Logs, one of 20. So this guy's got a little inventory of his own, it looks like. Can hold 20 logs. Oh, I thought that was more than one beaver per uh, lumberjack flag. All right. Let's see. Back over to the top left here. Unemployed three. We have... They don't show the, uh, the little gatherer. Okay, I'm going to hit play and get things moving again. Global view, District 1. All right. Waiting on stuff to get constructed here. We got two builders working in the district center. We could place more, right? Do we? We got seven adults. Let's up that to four workers. That brings us down to one unemployed. We might as well have them doing stuff. I think we're going to be building more as soon as this pump gets built. And we need to set put a worker in here too. Okay, they are automatically assigned one, I think. Vacant. This is workers one of one. Maybe our beaver just has to make his way there or her way there. The gatherer flag is still being constructed. Oh, no. Where is that? That's over here. Okay, it says workers one of one. Now we don't have enough workers for the water pump. So let's take <laughs> one of our newly placed workers off of here. Off of the uh, district center. How do I do that? I guess I just do a minus here. 
here we go. And that worker should make their way to the water pump. If we can watch that happen. Ooh, night is falling. Come on. Someone should make it here. All right, let's continue the tutorial. Because while all the buildings you placed have some storage, they will fill up quickly. Build a log pile to store logs, a small water tank to store water, and a small warehouse to store berries and other resources. Okay, log pile. Let's see, here's storage. There's a log pile. Uh, let's rotate this guy. Where does it make sense initially? I guess. Why don't we? Just trying to think, plan ahead a little bit. Let's do it right here. Here. <laughs> I'm not sure where the best placement is. That will do. I'm going to put a path to it. And we'll get to building the other buildings. We need a small warehouse. I kind of like having that near the, uh, at least one of them near the district center here. We need to rotate that and make sure we get it right. Ooh, we could do a small one and a small one and then have a path in between. Let's, let's start. We'll start with the one and maybe I'll put a little path going through the middle here. And then what we might do is either put another storage here or we can put something else here, but then we've got a path to kind of come back through this way. And I'm thinking maybe the housing we'll put in this area. That's a little bit drier. All right. What else we got? The water tank. I'm going to put that near the water pump. There's our beavers taking a nap on the ground here. Kind of reminds me of my cat a little bit. All right, but we can place buildings while they're sleeping. We need the water tank. Large water tank. They want small water tank. Let's get it away from the shoreline. I think we're going to want to put more pumps, perhaps, or water wheels or something. So let's go back a little ways. How about, how about something like this? Sorry. But they won't build on top of you. And when I first played, I accidentally blocked off the path to the... And to the to some to the water wheel, I think, or to the water pump, and a beaver got trapped in there and starved out. So I gotta be careful not to uh, not to always leave a path out wherever they, whatever buildings they go into, and not put them up right next to each other. Here we're safe because uh, the entrance is on the side here. Let's see. I'm trying to see how we rotate. Okay, it looks like it's the right mouse button. Just holding that down, we can change the view. Log pile is built. What are we doing? We got two unemployed. And we've got... Did we get more beavers? Yeah, we got another adult. I don't know where that came from. Seems like we got a new adult. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the uh, district center just so we have more builders. And then I'm not sure why this is not... We're not getting a worker here. Is it not built yet? It looks like it's built. Oh, maybe I need the sidewalk or the path. Looks like uh, we don't have that right there. I was kind of thinking they they walked in from this side, but they don't. All right, this guy looks like he's jumping in. We should see that pump working now. Very, very cool. Definitely water is a huge part of this game, and managing the water is a huge part of the game. All right, we checked out just about everything here in the top left side of the screen. Looks like we've got notifications at the bottom left of the screen. I'll right click to get out of the build menu. So we've got tons of stuff here on the hot bar to build. That looks cool. Here's our little bug report window, I believe. We encounter problems at the bottom right. And then top left, what is this? This must be like the seasons or something. This little dial. Guessing. I'm not quite sure how to read that yet. And then we've got working hours is 16 hours a day. Not sure what this is yet. Maybe this, yeah, I'm not sure what this display is here. The top right. Hide water. Okay, that's interesting. We could see how deep things are maybe. 
global view district one. Okay. So as we expand our colonies, maybe that's going to be an easy way for us to, uh, cycle through them and see how everybody's doing. We are collecting berries. Looks like our storehouse got built. Oh. Oh, zero of 20. I was going to say, it looked like we have all this stuff, all kinds of stock. Zero of 20. So we want to amp up the berry storage. Boy, the capacity is only 200 in the whole storehouse. Seems low. Yeah, that seems lower than I remember. All right, what do we have? We've got no one unemployed, so we're doing about as good as we can do. Just got to get that small water tank built. These guys are thirsty. Here they come for some water. How are we doing on storage? Just two of 15. We're probably going to need another water pump. All right, let's continue on with the tutorial. The beaver should now survive for a while. You can start thinking about building farms, producing power, and generating science points. Good luck. Close the tutorial. All right, we're on our own. That is short and sweet as tutorials go. But we've got some idea of what we need to do. Let's get housing down though. I don't even think they mentioned housing. Can we build some lodges? Boy, lots to do, right? We got housing. We've got crops. Eventually we're going to want tree farms. We probably need more than two beavers chopping down wood. So we might need to place more of these flags. There's a thirsty beaver over here. Definitely need more water pumps and storage. Let's look for houses. Or lodges, I think. Uh, plant crops. Plant trees. Demolish buildings. Housing. Right there. All right, we've got lodge and we've got lodge mirrored. Okay. we got mini lodge. It's a single beaver. Small lodge that fits a single beaver, uh, unique to this faction. Other buildings can be built on top. Satisfy sleep and comfort. Interesting. That's interesting. A mini lodge. Okay. Double lodge. Six inhabitants. Triple lodge. 35 wood. Can we build these right out of the gate? No, not enough science points. All right. Oh okay, yeah. I see. There's a little lock symbol on these second three. Let's build the lodge, just a regular lodge here. And let's do them back here. Uh, I don't think these necessarily need to have pathways. Let's just get, let's get a couple of these built. Um, we're going to want to stack things up. Let's see. Do I even have stairs yet? Uh, they'll be happy to have a place to sleep. Where would that be? Paths and structures. Here's the wooden stairs. Those are locked. That's telling us we're going to need some kind of tech for that. These guys hold what? What if I sleep? Inhabitants three. We've got 11. So what do we need? We need at least four lodges, right? I can't stack them yet because we don't have stairs. So they won't be able to get to them. Let's grab some more housing. Where was that housing? It's kind of an odd icon for housing. I guess that's a door open, right? With some stairs. Another lodge. Let's just do this. We'll see what we get. And then uh, let's put a path down. It's going to take me a little while to get familiar with the uh, location on the hotbar. I'm going to put a path down like this. Come across here and then another path down here. There's a little bit of wasted space here. Maybe we can put some kind of storage or something. There might be wells or I'm not sure. Even a water thing might go there. Uh, but let's not build too much. Or we know we need it. All right. Everybody's sleeping. Ooh, that snaps back. So I'm right clicking and dragging down. We can kind of see beavers out sleeping here on the grass. And as soon as I let up on the mouse, boink, 
kind of springs back to this default view. So we'll probably spend a lot of time at, in this perspective. Water, okay, we need to think about food. We've got housing for 12 beavers. We've got 11 homeless. We're obviously need to, are gonna need to make more housing as they start to reproduce. And then I was thinking of leaving this little section open here and maybe putting some stairs up so we can get up to this tier here. We'll harvest these trees and maybe irrigate this at some point. Let's see what we need. <laughs> we, we're going to need research, right? Let's see if we can figure out where that's at. Because all these things that are unlocked or locked for us, I think we need to do in the science place. Inventor. Inventor. Let's see. I'm a little nervous about building too much too fast. Um, we don't really have anybody unemployed to work on this. Should we do the science or a farm first? Maybe we should be thinking about food. Seems important. Farmhouse employs farmers that plant and harvest crops. I was thinking uh, last time I played, I had some farms through here that seemed to make sense near the, near the river. Eventually this may dry up, so we need to get to building a dam as well. So much to do. Let's get a farmhouse. About right here. We can always rework this sidewalk if we feel like it. Uh, you know, we're going to end up having multiple of these. Maybe let's put the entrance kind of towards where that path is. We'll start with one, but we'll leave room. We'll try and leave this section here. This whole row maybe for farms and things. And maybe a path coming down through the middle or something at some point. So let's see. We've got no unemployed. We've got one lodge built. That looks good. It looks like Q and E rotate the map for you. I just accidentally bumped the Q key. Discovered that. That's pretty common in most games. I'll right click to get out of that build menu. Everybody looks to be working. Oh, we're starting to fill our water tank a little bit. 13 out of 30. Probably want. Once we get more beavers, then we can kind of distribute this water a little better and go with the bigger tanks. We just don't have a lot of uh, a lot of beavers available to move resources around. So I don't want to do too much of that. This I'm planning to this area we're gonna I'm planning at least to do a tree farm. Through here, we'll do crops kind of in this area. And then maybe water wheel or some kind of power, early power generation along the coast here. And then this I recognize from last time I played, we want to kind of bust this area out, let this fill in with water and then maybe dam it up. So we have a little water supply here that should keep this surrounding area green. And then the berry bushes, I think we can plant more of those around this area. This should stay pretty green, even through the drought, as long as we can dam this up. I can't remember how we clear this. This barrier, a natural barrier blocking water can be demolished. Ground only must be built on the ground. Not sure. Let's, uh, I think we want to bust that open. Let's just mark that for uh, being chewed up. Maybe our builders can get to that at some point. We got two lodges. That looks good. These trees are kind of disappearing. I imagine, I'm not sure if they automatically kind of replant a little bit or if once these grow up and we chop them, this just stays uh, all depleted. We will find out. Let's make sure, yeah, that tree is marked, so we're good. Looks like we're off to a decent start. We're not really stockpiling any logs. We're using them as soon as we can chew them down. Water's looking pretty good. We're almost fully stocked. In fact, I could take a worker off of that. Uh, off of the water pump once it's full. But it's got its own storage too, right? 15 of its own storage. So we've got 15 in the water pump itself plus another 30. Lodges are being worked on here. This guy needs four more logs. This one hasn't started yet. 
still have what? Here's our population, 11 beavers total. Three little ones and eight big ones. That looks like a little one there. Just playing. Take a quick look at the map while we're waiting. Let's see how big this is. Okay, there's the end of that side. Down this, there's some iron. We're going to go grab that. Steel or iron. Harvest that. Cross section of the earth. More iron for us to get. Ooh, yeah, it goes a long ways here off to the left. Wow. Okay, so we start out. There's some more iron, obviously. A little dark here. Nighttime's set in. At least some of our beavers are using their homes. Looks like they are. If we look off to the left here, it says Lodge 6 out of 6. Homeless 5. Not sure what Lodge 6 out of 6 means. I guess we have 6 places for them to sleep, and there's 6 beavers in there. Yeah, so it seems like we're uh, kind of off to the right of the map, right? Where we started? Ooh, hopefully I can find my way back. We're somewhere over here, right? We just follow the river. Here we are. Yeah, it seems it seems to me like we're not quite in the center. We're off to the right. Here's that side. <laughs> I'm just killing time, basically, while we wait for some things to build. But let's just see if this side goes further. Well, maybe not. We were close. Seems like we're maybe center, center right a little tiny bit. All right, let's see where we're at. I could speed things up, and I probably will once we uh, just get fully acclimated everything going on. Our storehouse is good. How are we doing on food? If I check at the top of the screen, it shows we've got 114 berries. The gatherer flag, is that a single worker too? Yeah. We probably want to put another one of those down once we get unemployed beavers. Or we run out of things to build, and we can take uh, a beaver or two out of the... Uh, district center. If they don't have anything to do right now, we've got a lot of stuff to build. Although they're waiting on wood, right? What about another logging flag instead? Why don't we do that? Let's take a beaver out of here. Because we don't have any building materials. So they're probably sitting around waiting for building materials. And let's get another lumberjack. I'm just going to put it right next to this one, I guess. Uh, I think it need how, how about there, actually? We got a little... Do that. That'll increase our log production, and then once we get this cleared out, we can look at doing a tree farm. Ooh, Forester, we actually need science to get rid of that. Do that. 60 science. Ooh. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to build that... Inventor. Let's get that placed... Uh, how about right in this little pocket here? We'll leave, we'll put, probably put stairs in this little channel here so they can get up top. And then maybe we'll put stairs here. So it's safe to put this inventor right where I'm looking, I think. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be a priority uh, for us. So let's get that placed. So we'll probably go down to two builders uh, once this stuff gets uh, constructed. And then we'll... We got two unemployed right now. Okay, we just got another beaver. One of our children grew up, apparently. That's going to help. They'll probably start working in this logging area. Yeah. Now we're down to one unemployed. Be nice if they got this science thing going. Tempted to put down yet another lumberjack flag, if I'm honest. Why don't should we do that? War gatherer, right? For food? Hmm. Maybe. Well, this guy's picking through all the available berries. But he's got a pretty big range. But he's clearing through them, so maybe, ooh, we, or we could expand and try and get to this stuff. We get more trees to chop down here. 
and more berries to harvest. So we could start pathing our way, but we can't even get... Oh, there's stairs right here. Look at this. Why don't we put... Uh, tell you what, why don't we wrap this episode here? And then next episode, let's think about if we want to path up to this plateau here. I'm guessing they can climb up this thing. It looks awfully similar to stairs for it not to function as stairs. I'm thinking maybe we path up this way, pop a lumberjack flag, and maybe plunk down a food gatherer here. That'll kind of delay or buy us some time before we have to get the farm going. We can harvest these berries. It'll buy us some time before setting up our, our tree farm because we can harvest all these trees sitting here. And then maybe we'll get a lodge or two over here so it's close by where they're going to be working. But we'll save that for next episode. For now, this is Gladdercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Super excited about this new season of Timberborn. I've been waiting a long time for this game to, uh, to release an early access. So I hope you're enjoying this content. I enjoy putting it together for you. If you do like it, please consider giving it a thumbs up or a like. That helps my tiny, tiny channel grow, and I definitely appreciate it, and I will see you in the next episode.